Okay, if we can ask everyone to take a seat, we would really like to start now. Drama students, can you either sit down or be in your first positions? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ms. Yana. I'm the drama teacher. And uh, this term, we decided to fracture some fairy tales and make up our own scary stories. So, um, I would like to thank my drama students for working really hard. Everything you see tonight is what they put together. All the props, um, the script was their ideas, and um, I'm really proud of them. I really enjoyed working with them. We worked really hard. Um, I hope you enjoy the show. Where did he go? 
Maybe that's because you guys are not woke enough of it. If you guys try, yeah, I'm not mad. If you told us more about it, maybe we could open up to it. So tell us, what does he like? Well, he likes telling me stories. And he explores here often. So he knows the hidden room behind the staircase on the second floor. And he knows everything about the hospital. All the secret doors and entrances. You guys will love it. Can I introduce him to us, will you? Tell him to me right now. I don't think that you're not going to say you can't, right? We just want to see him. Say hello and, you know, become friends like you are. I, I... Don't they come through that everything is going to be so weird? Look at her, she looks so frightened. Is that the mouse in her cage? <laughs> Did she just give me that look? Look, my little girl here. Um, do you want to be just a little bit like that? Peter, help me! Where's your boyfriend now? Is he going to save you? You don't need to answer that. I will. <laughs> Yes, Wendy. I'm sorry I wasn't there, but but I believe now that that you have realized the truth, at least the most important ones. I forgive you, Wendy. In fact, I was never mad at you. I have no remorse. What? I'm asking what you're talking about. Wendy, I'm sorry. You won't understand it now, but later you will understand. Wendy, you should now set yourself free. Goodbye.
have a choice. I just won't leave. That's not a decision to make. Spawn your own career. So tell me what I am, woman. Both of you. Haven't forgotten his houselessness? Who built this home with his own two men? This is not a home. This is a jail. Then you should be glad to leave. I am. Red is freezing outside. to stay alive and put a torture to when he got bored. Red begged him to just kill and eat her. But apparently, the wolf was not hungry enough. On the third day, the wolf came close enough to her cage for Red to take her revenge. Monster? That's not right. <coughs> I think I've been more than hiking. 
starving. But she considered to eat the whole thing. But Red couldn't get herself to do that. So she decided to take her own bite. Thank <laughs> you. 